Hi, this is Utkan, Master of None. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to build this video light. I start the build by grabbing a board that is 7 by 12 inches. Here I'm cutting the LED strips into size, making sure I'm cutting at the connection points. Material I'm using for this build is called PVC foam board. This material can be purchased from plastic distributors. I got mine from Peterson Brothers Plastics in Chicago. I removed the protector from the adhesive backing and started to stick them to the foam board. I stagger the strips so I lead you on the row I'm placing aligns with the empty space above it. I drilled series of holes thinking I will run one cable for each row. Then I realized it makes more sense to bridge the connection here at the front than solder 11 cables at the back. I bridged every row to another one with short insulated cables making sure not to cross polarities. Using a helping hand really helps with any soldering work. It's a good idea to check after a reconnection, so it is easier to troubleshoot any problem like shorts or cross polarities. Soldering work should be done at 400% speed to finish this tedious work as soon as possible. I use hot glue to hold down the cables to the board to minimize any shadows and light irregularities. Here is the first test after all the connections are made. I cut the four side pieces to one and a three quarters at the table saw. Then I position them next to the base to mark the cuts I need to make. I cut the pieces to size on my other saw. Set the blade halfway into the stock to create grooves for the light diffuser. This is done for three sides. Fourth side is cut at the same height as the grooves. This glue is recommended by the manufacturer. I will put a link to it in the description. Working time for this glue is 5 to 6 minutes and 80% strength comes in 24 hours. I used acrylic I had for the light diffuser. I'm marking it with a knife then snapping it to make sure the mark is straight and go over the same mark couple of times. Using a sharp knife does help a lot. Then I sanded the surface of the acrylic to create the light diffuser. We want the light to spread instead of showing up as many LEDs. After 10 minutes, I glued the second side. Don't put any stress on the glued sides since they are not fully cured yet. Here you can see the diffuser in its groove. I glued a scrap piece to make it easy to slide in and out. As you can see, it was a little tight. Later on, sanding the sides of the acrylic fixed this problem. Here is the first test with the diffuser on. I built the side walls for the connection box out of scrap pieces. One more layer added to this side so it is stronger for the power input connector. I use this T-plug connectors as a disconnect in case I need to do any changes like adding a dimmer or a power switch.
Using white spray paint, I lightly cover over the diffuser. Drill the hole for the power input connector. And glued it to its place using goop all-purpose glue. You can cut PVC foam board with a knife too. Here I'm cutting the cover for the connection box. I marked the size of the screw on a drill bit with a marker and drilled two holes through the cover. Then install the screws. I marked the insides of the two bands I'm going to make on the aluminum support. Then I bent the aluminum by hand. and finished it with the hammer. I drilled and countersinked the holes. These two holes at the ends are for the knobs that's going to attach to the light box. Then I marked the locations for the bread hole about 4 inches from the bottom. Drilled 5 16 holes on both sides. Countersink these holes so the piece will sit correctly. Use two part epoxy to glue the metal to the PVC foam. Somewhere around this point, I realized gluing a nut to the aluminum to mount the light will not work. So I started to think about plan B. My solution is cutting two more aluminum pieces about 3 inches and screwing those to the main support and tapping the quarter inch thread to this 3 piece aluminum. This turned out to be very challenging. Since I don't have a drill press, I had to drill all the holes with hand drills and this kind of clamping did not hold all three pieces together very well. And I did not have a tap handle either, so I used the drill as a tap handle. Countersink the holes to accept the screws that's holding three pieces together. You will see that I'm using yet again wrong thing for the right job. I had oval head screws in hand. I had to grind the heads later on so the tripod shoe can sit flat on it. Here I am threading the standard quarter inch 20 tripod screw thread. I got this paint on sale for two dollars. Color is named Matthias Mandel. Here is some exciting shots of paint being applied. Second heated after watching paint dry. You still here? Oh, okay. Let's put this thing together. Thanks for watching this video. This is my first video that I did a voiceover. I usually hate hearing myself and I still do. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and thank you for watching.